Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial about MeshLab. This time we will talk about one of the most important new features of the last release, which are the rest raster layers. So here we have a three-dimensional model here, and if you have a look at the layer dialog on the right side, you see that we have it on the top of the dialog. But uh, you see also that we have uh, several other entities in another part of the part of the layer dialog, and these are the raster layers. Well, uh, what is a raster layer? A raster layer is a, a two-dimensional entity uh, which has been associated to a set of camera parameters that define a position and orientation of a point of view in the space. So it's something that is already intrinsically three-dimensional because we have something two-dimensional with a position in the space. It is called a raster layer because uh, mm, the most straightforward the application of that is uh, an image, for example, but uh, nothing prevents us for, uh, from using different kind of two-dimensional entities like, for example, drawings, but also, say, depth maps and so on. So it's something which is two-dimensional with a set of camera parameters associated. Okay, so if I switch on this uh, uh, rendering uh, feature that shows the cameras, you can see that the uh, the camera uh, position and orientation as associated to each raster layer of this project are shown on screen and I can switch them on and off using this part of the layer dialog so for example this is the position and orientation associated to this particular image if I want to visualize this image and uh, also put myself in the same point of view of the image I can use this button in the this new button which is called show current raster mode this button brings me uh, to the point of view uh, of the uh, of that the particular the current raster layer that i selected so the one which is shown in yellow and you see that if i uh, change the transparency using the wheel i can uh, switch from the image to the 3d model so you see that this image has been already aligned to the 3d model it could happen that sometimes when you switch to other images you don't visualize them correctly and this could be uh, um, not something related to really to the position of the model in the space but it could be something uh, related to the value of the near and the far plane sometimes MeshLab is still not uh, able to calculate them in the proper way so using the Ctrl Shift plus wheel you can change the value of the far plane and make it bigger or smaller and using the, um, the control plus shift you can change the near plane and make it uh, more near and more far so that you, if you're not visualizing anything uh, when you put yourself in the point of view of a particular image uh, you, can, uh, uh, you, you can first of all try to uh, change these near and far planes and see if uh, the model ap appears in the, on the screen okay? so this is essentially the, 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 the intrinsic uh, nature of the raster model uh, one of the, the possible application of these for example is the projection of color information and we'll see that in another demo tutorial uh, but uh, the idea is that um, MeshLab could be able to make more complex things and uh, currently most of the uh, features are related to images to photos of a real object but really nothing prevents us from uh, trying to make more complex stuff okay. so if I switch back to the navigation of the model here we are and so this is essentially the, the most important things about the raster model uh, how can you load a new raster model so supposing that we open a three dimensional model we want to add a raster model in the file uh, menu you will have a, a new possibility which is called import raster currently it's possible to import only JPEG, PNG or XPM images maybe in the future we will uh, add new uh, formats and uh, so if I, if I want for example to insert this image I just double click essentially nothing happens but if I switch on the layer dialog I see that we, I have an image which is associated with this particular MeshLab project if you load an image from scratch clearly you don't have any information about the shot which has to be associated so 
an initial shot with no meaning will be associated to this particular image. This means that if I put myself in the point of view from this image, I don't see anything. Okay, so if I just make Control H, then starting from that, I can, uh, for example, try to to find an alignment for this model uh, with respect to the, the the image. I can make several things out of that. Okay, so the navigation of the 3D model when you are in the uh, raster view uh, model is exactly the same as the, the usual navigational 3D model. The main difference is that uh, since the wheel is for transparency, if you want to zoom the model, you have to use the alternative, which is Shift plus uh, left uh, mouse button and drag. Okay, and in this way you get uh, the, the zoom. Okay, so essentially these are the basic of the raster model. In the other tutorials about that, we will show some of the possibilities uh, that you have in this current uh, version. Uh, so, for example, the alignment of the images or the projection of color information. And uh, I think it's up to you to uh, try to find new ways to use that.